here sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you. Yeah, it's gotten back to being cold and dreary and rainy. It's going to rain today. So today's going to be an indoor day. I'm going to make some more fire starters and I'm going to do, well, I'm going to do one a little bit differently than the others. So um, I'll try and capture that on, on film. I keep looking over there thinking Judy's going to be there, but that's okay. I got the big papa over there. Anyhow, um, I had something weird happen last night, and I might share it with you a little bit later on. It just depends on how today goes. Um, yeah, I might need some advice. Anyhow, I got to go check the chickens and see how many eggs I got, and then come back in and make some fire starters. I got me six pretty eggs today. For the last couple days, I've been getting three brown eggs and only two white eggs. So, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, lots of beautiful eggs. Let's start making these fire starters. I've just put a whole bunch of chips of wax down in the bottom and basically a whole candle, pretty much. I don't usually do that. I just use remnants, but I really need to make some fire starters. So, I put a big partially used pillar candle and that's kind of a double boiler. Um, it'll be better if you had like a little rack on the bottom. I can't find it. I shouldn't clean because then I don't know where anything is. So that's all going to melt down and I've got a lovely fire started. Can you hear that? I've got the door open and there is absolutely zero smoke coming in at all. Can you hear that? Yeah, I'm going to be able to close this door in just a minute here. Yep, it's no smoke at all whatsoever. Thank goodness. Oh, I'm so relieved. So we're just going to melt that all down and then pour it over some stuff. The first stuff I'm going to pour over is, remember all of this paper? I haven't put all of it down there, but quite a bit. I've just lined this whole box with um, aluminum foil. I'm going to pour wax all over the top of this. Now, it doesn't have to be completely drenched, but it does need to soak through to the bottom. And then let it, hopefully, if it works out right, let it kind of cool off and then cut it into squares. Miss Donna and her daughters had been collecting these for me and putting dryer lint in them. I've cut this flap and the, the lid off and I'm going to put those in the worm bin. So I'm going to try with the dryer lint and then I'm going to fill a whole tray with cotton balls. And I'm putting two cotton balls in each spot. And the last one that I'm going to make is a carton filled with shredded paper. So I'm going to try one, two, three, four different kinds of fire starters. And I bet you they all burn wonderfully. Look at this wood I'm burning, you guys. This is cedar. Mr. Lucas gave me a, a whole bunch of logs split up. And I'm burning them in the tiny stove right now. And oh my goodness, it just smells so good. And this is very, very dry too. Not all the wax is melted down yet, but quite a bit. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this wax out right now. This is very dangerous, so you got to be really careful. I'm just pouring it all around. Move this over a little bit. Get it in the corners. Okay. Well, we need to melt some more wax, so I'm going to put it back into the pot. I'm just kind of finishing up here, pouring in a little bit more wax in the, in the big box there. And I think I'm just going to do maybe two of each of these trays because uh, I have to melt a lot more wax. I've been using quite a bit in that big box. and But I did want to at least try, you know, some of the other trays. I already know the ones with the cotton balls and the dryer lint are going to work. I've made those many times before. But not sure how the shredded paper ones are going to work out. So this will be interesting. I'm just going to pour a little bit more in each one and then, then let them cool. And... Uh, just cut them up and see how they work. It started to get dark, so I had to put on a light. So while I'm waiting for the rest of the wax to melt and finish as many of those little sections as I can, I wanted to talk to you about the weird thing that happened last night. So it was after dark. I'm not sure how late it was, but it was pitch dark outside. And um, someone 
came up to my front porch. And y'all know, I don't like anybody coming up to my front porch unless they're invited. I'm expecting them, um, and especially not after dark. And all my friends, neighbors, everybody knows not to do that, especially after dark. So the person walked up and uh, of course my security light went on, my security alarm, alarm went off. And, um, you know, next time I'm not going to do this. I know that they, it was unwise to do this, but I opened the door and I asked, who is it? And as it turns out, it's my new neighbor. I'm not even going to mention any names anymore. He's new in the area. I've tried to help him. Um, and so he walked up to the porch and I'm like, what is going on? And he just said, I'm sick. And I didn't get too close to him. Um, he did look sick, but it, it wasn't, he, it, it's almost like I felt like maybe he was intoxicated. Um, but what had happened, he had lost the keys to his truck. Um, he couldn't go and get any heat or whatever. Um, he, his sister had just left and he, I guess he had had a falling out or something like that. I don't know. Um, but he wanted me to put him in my truck and take him to Lowe's which is about 40, 50 minutes away from here. And um, I just I just got a bad feeling. I, I just got a bad feeling. I said, I'm sorry, I cannot give you heat tonight. I think he wanted to come inside the tiny house. And um, I don't really know him. Um, so he just seemed... He seemed off. There was something off about him. I don't know. Maybe he was intoxicated. I don't know. But um, he said his phone is dead. He can't call for help. So I went and got one of my battery banks that was fully charged and I, I gave it to him. I show him how to hook it up and how to charge his phone. Um, I offered him blankets. Um, he refused any blankets. And um, I just said, we'll talk more about this tomorrow. Uh, because there's no way I'm standing out here in the dark, in the freezing cold, talking to a man who may be, I don't know, intoxicated on drugs. I have no idea. But my gut feeling told me that I needed to not let him in the tiny house, number one. And then when I got up this morning, um, he didn't come over here and I didn't go over there. Um, at least he's got his phone charged. So... Um, I, I don't know. I know that God wants us to help one another and he wants us to take care of the weak and frail among us. Um, it's important that we do that. But what kind of limit should I have with that? Uh, I, I just felt uncomfortable, you know? I just felt really uncomfortable, especially him coming up onto the porch after dark, um, how many more times is this going to happen? Um, I don't know. So just give me your thoughts on what you think about this. Did I do the right thing? Or should I have, you know, should I take him to Lowe's? I mean, that's like 50 minutes away. Um, and he said he was sick. And I said, I'll call you an ambulance. I'll call you an ambulance right now. He says, no, I'm not going to the hospital. I'm not going to the hospital. Um, you know, I don't want to put somebody who could potentially give me a, you know, a life-threatening illness into my truck with me, mask or not. Um, so is this what we've come to? <laughs> oh no. Well, I'm going to go check on the wax. Just let me know what your thoughts are on this. It looks like these are set enough. So hmm, I'm going to see if I can pull this out of the box in one piece. That would be awesome. Looks like I'm going to be able to do it right on. Very good. And then set it down. I wonder if I'm going to be able to just peel this away. Maybe I should have used vegetable oil or something. Look at that. You think it'll work? I don't know. Might be easier just to cut this with a knife, so I may take it over to a cutting board here in a minute. But I'm just going to see if I can... Yeah, I'm going to use a knife to cut these up. Uh, I think I could do it with this, but I think it's just going to be easier with a big heavy knife. I only made, whoops, dropped one, a half a dozen of each of these. I'll just cut one pair up each. These always work really well. 
They just do. I've never had a problem with them. Last but not least, the little cottony ones. And these are easy to cut apart if you don't pour wax over this part and this part, <laughs> just so you know. And you don't really have to put all that much wax in it. So what do you think? Which ones do you think will burn the best? These were the most messy and hardest to make and to cut up. These look like they're going to be great. So if I do the paper ones again, I'm not going to put them in a tray like that. I'm just going to put them in these because I have a feeling these will burn even better. And then, of course, these always burn great. So, and the cotton ball ones do too. So, yeah, there's my little fire starters. Actually, I've got about three dozen more. Yay, I got all that done. Hooray. I've got fire starters now. And I will save it for another video when I try them out. I already know they're going to work, but it's going to be interesting to see how the little cake ones work. Um, and I want to start it from a completely cold stove so, you know, you can get a good idea of how they light up and how long they stay lit and whatnot. Anyhow, you know what? That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.